All right, it's the Tuesday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks here on July 21st, 2020. July 21st is one of those big weather days on our local uh, weather calendar. As I oftentimes do with this video, I like to start with a, a look back at the past when something interesting happened on this date. And back in 2003, we had a big flooding event uh, with 4.65 inches worth of rain at the airport. Lots of flooding problems in Trumbull County and uh, other parts of Northeast Ohio, Northwest PA. A lot of problems over in Crawford County as well. We also, in addition to the flooding problems that day, we had an EF1 tornado in uh, the Youngstown area that touched down early that afternoon. Now, finding the exact track of this tornado, I found that to be a little bit of a challenge to, to find the exact uh, GPS coordinates and, and make a nice, accurate line. So this is kind of an estimate of that track uh, it may be somewhat uh, off, but I, it looks like this uh, touched down kind of on the south side of Youngstown and then moved generally east-northeast. Back on this date in uh, 2003, it was on the ground for about eight miles. EF1 tornado with winds estimated between 75 and about 110 miles per hour. Nothing like that today. We did have some showers that passed through Columbiana and other parts of the region this morning, and even a few lingering downpours early this afternoon across southern parts of Columbiana County. Down in Calcutta, Glenmore area, about a quarter of an inch. We matched that up in uh, Columbiana, Latonia. And uh, it's, a good, it's good news that we got some, uh, some needed rain, especially in this part of our area, which has been especially dry over the last couple of months. Now, recent rains have helped us out a fair amount in Trumbull County, even parts of Mahoning County, but it's been awfully dry this summer, late this spring and this summer in, in Columbiana County, parts of Lawrence and Mercer as well. And so the fact that uh, today's rain uh, was primarily focused in our southern television viewing area, that was overall a good thing. There's a little pocket of lower dew point air this evening across parts of our area from Mansfield, across to Akron, across to Youngstown. Little pocket where the dew points are not so bad at all. You don't have to go far south of that, though, to find really muggy air. Dew points in Newcastle are in the upper 60s. My weather station in Columbiana County has a dew point in the lower 70s at this hour. And so the muggy air is lurking, and it's going to envelop the entire area as we go into the night and into uh, the day tomorrow. Our showers from earlier have passed off to the south and east. Kind of an interesting looking a little band of showers and storms uh, this evening that has been progressing across western Ohio. The models show this kind of dying out as uh, we go through the evening hours, so keep an eye on this. This might try to hold together long enough that it becomes a little bit interesting across uh, maybe the southern part of our viewing area. Again, no severe weather or anything, but uh, I guess I wouldn't be totally shocked at this point if uh, this uh, little cluster out towards Mansfield and approaching I-71 as of 625 uh, manages to, to bring somebody a little bit of rain later this evening. Otherwise, tomorrow is going to be a warm and steamy day. Warm front pushes in, and the dew points are going to be Florida-like tomorrow. Might have a round of showers and storms early in the day. Some of the models are, are picking up on that idea. And then uh, a break, maybe midday into the early afternoon. Then another round of showers and storms here and there late in the afternoon and early in the evening. This is a sorry excuse for a cold front, but there's a little bit of a dew point change on the other side of the front. And so the... Ingredients for true severe weather on Wednesday, damaging winds, large hail, you know, they're not overly impressive. It's a low-end risk, but uh, I can't rule out a couple of downburst-style wind gusts if we get a couple of taller storms, especially late in the afternoon and early in the evening. And so I have on, on our graphic here 4 to 8. Again, we're going to see rain before this in parts of the area, even early in the day. There could be some showers and storms around, but if we get... Uh, real strong wind gusts in, in an isolated circumstance. I think it's probably later in the day. Into the evening, maybe some hail as well. And we are outlined in the low-end risk for flash flooding tomorrow. These storms will be moving, but efficient rain producers. Really juicy air mass overhead tomorrow. So these will be able to just squeeze out quite a bit of moisture in a short amount of time. So that could be something we'll be keeping an eye on uh, during the course of our Wednesday. All right, this front kind of washes out and sags to the south and east, and I think we dry things out Thursday. The dew points start to come down a little bit. And then uh, uneventful weather for the end of the week on Friday with a partly to mostly sunny sky as high pressure builds in. Speaking of high pressure, in the upper levels of the atmosphere, it will dominate in the coming days, keeping any sort of cool down a figment of our imagination until maybe the second half of next week. The models are trying to pick up on this idea that 
well, maybe a little trough, tries to set up shop in the east, and the ridge centers itself out west. If this comes to fruition, hey, we might have some really comfortable, relatively speaking, weather coming our way second half of next week. It's early in the ballgame to say that this is a high confidence thing at this point. So we'll be keeping an eye on the longer range trends in addition to the shorter range trends, trends, shorter range uh, trends, say that three times fast, uh, in uh, the next uh, couple of days. Of course, I'll uh, have more updates on social media with tomorrow's shower and thunderstorm threats. Be sure you're following the Storm Tracker 21 accounts on social media. And of course, download the fantastic Storm Tracker 21 app. Thank you for watching tonight's video. I'll see you back here on Wednesday.